So I'm starting to record, even though there's nobody here but me. It's two minutes past seven. Our challenge for the social media team is finding time. We're such busy, busy people. And I was worried because I had felt like I had not prepared enough. Last minute, Kyung In has got an emergency at work and can't attend. I haven't heard from the others. I don't know whether they're really coming or not. Oh, here's Kepuve. So I'll let her in and we'll get going. Hi, Lily. Hello. Nice to see your hair. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm challenged. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I always feel like I've never prepared enough and I haven't got enough time. And in this kind of a role, leadership role, it's, mm -hmm. um, it's a real challenge. And I'm realizing, I'm having amazing realizations, lots of <laughs> learning. So I'm, I'm feeling young and old all at once. It's, it's fascinating <laughs> because the learning is, is connected to, to being young and dynamic and mm -hmm. I've always been on the go mm -hmm. and there's another part of me that's saying oh I'm too old for this I don't want to do it like this I don't want to I don't have to do this anymore mm -hmm. okay I can pass it on so I'm curious to see I hope Kyung In just messaged that she can't come um, and I haven't heard from Nancy or Carolina so Nancy. I'm not sure oh Nancy's having network problems um yeah carolina the same um postponing until tomorrow and kyung in what did she say she can't oh, come at all and wants to look at the recording okay but anyways the, the i don't even think today's meeting was going to be that long anyways because um I guess we will only know more after tomorrow's meeting. Yeah, so it seems to me that the main thing we need to do is clarify what can we present to them tomorrow. And I get the feeling that the expectations are not clear at all. So I have presented my proposal and Nancy's proposal. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that we have something to work with because there needs to be a, a yes, no. And then what? Okay, all so right. So that we can go forward, so that we know where we're going and what we're doing and who can do what. Okay. And um, with the homepage, as I already expressed in writing and to us, I would be so happy if Victis and Johanna took it over again. Mm. But the others haven't got a clue what's really going on there and I don't know what they're expecting. And so I'm hope I'm thinking maybe I need to prepare a little bit more in that area. Basically, I'm going to present, um, depending on how much time, our meetings are always so cramped and condensed and we never have enough time to really present things clearly. And I'm happy that you said one hour and that's it because we need to, we need to get to the point. Um, Yep. We need um we need we need an agenda as well. That's very important. So for example, if you know this month is going to be we're gonna give Lily 20 minutes to give a short proposal about the you know social media team, it works. It's better than um, you know, everybody getting two minutes. Yeah, yeah. I think what maybe you can do is um, talk about what we've already discussed. You and Nancy have already put it down on paper. And um, for example, with myself, I said I can help with the create the, the Gmail account and maybe help with the websites and also on Twitter. And Anais also gave what she could do. And yeah. I think that could work and they could give us feedback if that's what they're also looking for. So my question there was, have we got any further with our discussions in our group? Mm. Has there been any development? Do we know anything more than what we knew three weeks ago in this three weeks gap? Basically, it was mm -hmm. Christmas and New Year. And I 
I haven't had any high expectations from anybody. However, with the meeting tomorrow, the executive meeting, um, are you clear? Can you set up a Gmail account and would you be prepared to administer it? Is that your offer? Is, is that on your agenda? Is that something you would present? Yes. So, yes. Um, well, I would not present it. You can present it as okay. part of the package. Um, I went to check, but I could not find any specific Gmail accounts for that are specially made for organizations. Okay. I didn't, I had read about it in the past and didn't do any further research. I thought it's enough if one of us do it, but um, perhaps I can have. The other thing is they have been changing so many things lately. And I haven't been keeping on top of it. It gets a bit frustrating to me when they change the things that I just figured out. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that that was that was the the. I mean, there's no new development, but I thought I could go. But if if you know where I can look, for example, I can do it. But I would be very happy to create a Gmail account, and from there we would be able to also create Twitter or anything else that can be linked and what we would need is who would be the um, people that can do the authentication yep so it yeah so for example as i said a cell phone number and email address people that we know would be in women federation more permanently yep authentication yep Okay. And we might need to also, uh, Anne, Anne is the secretary, right? Yes. Yes. So the, the, um, I would think that will be the email address that she's also using to, that she could be using to send out notifications or something like that. I don't know. That's, that's my big query and almost my hesitation to jump mm -hmm. in because as soon as the message was sent around Lily's PR manager, she got back to me and said, oh, Lily, how do you want the reports done? As if I was going to take over everything that she was doing. Now, it's true, I'm not happy with the way the reports are, are done now or where they are stored or anything, the format, how they're being done. But I'm not prepared to invest more and more and more time in there in a situation where there's no stability, no return, and um, no accountability either. So I've been basically holding back. And Anne is very, very sensitive. She's been working so hard, and she recognises some of her limitations and is always mm -hmm. looking for help mm -hmm. and fearing that she doesn't get the support that she needs. And I wouldn't want to overburden her with too many new developments, which which would be difficult for her to cope with. We need to keep her on board in a capacity where she feels comfortable and content to be able to manage it and to keep things under control. And I, I'm very wary of putting any extra pressure on her. Okay, so um, I was just thinking that what Anne would be doing now is her usual work, but using a different email address. Could that be overwhelming for her? It means she has to log into this Gmail account with this different password, right? It's it's very easy. And of course, if she doesn't help, have somebody to help her set it up, then it's a problem. But like right now, if you look at um, my Gmail, as I told you, like, um, can you see my, can you see my phone? How many yep. accounts I had there? Yep. I've only ever logged in only once. Even on my laptop, I don't need to put in passwords again. All I have to do is if I'm going to check um, if my mom needs help with something, I'm going to go into her email address and check it. No passwords, nothing. But I, I agree with you. It's important to make sure that Anne is comfortable. And I can believe that she's overwhelmed. And one of the things we definitely need to look into is have more people supporting. Yep, yep, yeah. yeah. Uh, she would definitely benefit with some local support. I have, I have to look at, I've done a webinar for my Toastmasters 
on how to log into the Gmail account. Basically, I've given, <laughs> I offered them access and nobody, nobody did it. Nobody followed up, you know, and I was still the admin and there was, they all had the editing rights if they had just logged in, but there was so much anti-Google that um, nobody did anything. Well, we're all going to be, we're all going to be together next month. And um, I think, yeah, we, we do need to um, recruit more people. Yeah, yeah. Or to have more people. And one of the reasons why I am, I think it's important to have this one account, it's for the sake of continuity. It's so that when Anne is not feeling well and she's not able to do something, at, at one point in time, hopefully she would have like a deputy secretary, somebody who would help her and they would just log on to the email and just do the usual process so that she can have relief when she needs it. And then the process never, ever stops. You're singing my song, Kefilve. You make me cry. <laughs> this is what I've been trying to do for... Yeah, for Toastmasters, for Women's Federation, for and you're the first one that I know that I've met who even understands the concept. I don't know if any of the other branches in, in other countries anywhere are, mm. are working like that. I have just been confronted with so much resistance that, I, you know, I've been, what did you say, burnt. <laughs> yes, I, I understand. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be like an extra voice um, <laughs> to sing the same song as you. <laughs> Good. Okay. I'm very, very happy to hear all that. So I'll have a look and see in terms of the nonprofits um, because I know for Zoom there was also that that they were offering free accounts for nonprofits. Okay. It was US based and then it was charity US based. But anyhow, I never followed it up because it wasn't my um in my capacity or in yeah. Why any... you Google for nonprofits. Yeah. Um yeah, because they have the business accounts and the yeah, yeah the all the other but they've changed a lot so I'm not really sure what the latest is I haven't I haven't looked but basically it's for nonprofits yeah okay good okay. um I did actually prepare uh oops lost it a um screen one a tentative agenda which I was going to leave open according to who actually turned up and what we really wanted to talk about and I wanted to allow enough time for everybody to to have their say without getting overboard thinking you know we'll need to um um basically my concern is the oops sorry it's up here right okay this is it let me just take out the uh um the I want to take out the formatting signs. Okay. And I think it's give me, move my Zoom that you now. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I always work with formatting signs. I need to know where I how the spacing and everything is. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, happy new year. <laughs> <laughs> We did start with a happy new year. Good. So have you, do you get the newsletter from the US? No. So I get, wait on, um, copy, can I copy that link? Co copy hyperlink and put it in the chat. Oh, okay. Now with the share screen, my whole, okay, there's the chat. Give me chat. I get the news. Wow, such a long link. Okay. I get the news. That's just to the recent newsletter that I got. Um, I've subscribed to the USA Women's Federation and they are doing Angelica Steele and she's got quite a team supporting her. They're mm. doing a lot of um, mail outs, newsletters, annual reports, reporting about their events and mm. fundraising. 
Okay. At the bottom of all of their stuff, they've got now, particularly before Christmas, after Christmas, before the new year, after the new year, they have set a goal and they're halfway there. And wouldn't you like to help us to reach our goal? And they've already said what they want to do with it. And mm -hmm. every time I see their stuff, it's a great example for me. And I think that's something that we can really learn from. Yes. I'm keen that we don't compare ourselves with others but I'm always eager to learn and when I see a role model I think it's great to recognize it and to see to ask the question is that something for us is that something we can learn from however it can only work when we are working together mm -hmm. and cooperating with one another my big question will be after the executive meeting depending on what happens with the review with the proposal my, my attitude is I really hope that they accept Nancy's proposal and I feel like I'm going to just step back because I, I can't even, I don't even believe that, there, that there's going to be any funding available for anything else. Okay. And I'm feeling more and more when you asked at the beginning, how are you? I'm just feeling like, okay, I'm, what did I do? I put it in the, um, oh yeah, in the proposal. I added my Calendly link and I feel like my, my mission, my role now is basically handover. Okay. I have done all of the work. I have prepared all of the stuff. I've even done a lot of webinars and I've put some of them mm -hmm. on the web page, on my web page, because I've, I've been bitten in the past where I've handed over everything I've done. Mm. and uh, nobody took any responsibility for it and it was, I felt like it was all lost and I'm not prepared yeah. to do that again. I so agree. I'm maintaining ownership and it's on my YouTube channel and it's on my webpage mm. and it's a part of my professional profile. Yes. And it's um, development of WFWP social media team as an NGO project, so it's not even... WFWP specific it's basically NGO activity and um, social media training and and uh, consultancy work so okay. I'm happy to support and I know no matter what I will always be loyal to Women's Federation however even the 10 years when I was working at the UN mm. I knew I had to step back and I could watch and observe mm. and not really participate while I was working at the UN as a staff member. Yes. And now I'm still happy to support, but I don't feel I, I don't feel that it's even right for me to be in there doing all the work just like that for nothing. You know, that's why it was mm -hmm. important for me to present that proposal. Yes. And um yeah, I'm just curious to see what will what will come of that and how, how the question will be, where does it go from there? And I'm mm. always so happy to hear when you that you are prepared to take the minutes that you are so much up front there. And how do you feel when Nancy's giving a proposal and says she'll only do it when she's paid for it? And what about um Carolina? And what about uh Kyungi? Mm. You know, mm. how how do we manage that? How do we handle that? How, how do you feel about that? For me, I think we, we, it was very fair because we all spoke about the terms and conditions that we're willing to work under. And for me, I'm happy working um, on a voluntary basis. Um, and it's it's not because I want to, uh, you know, tune in and out when I want to, but I know that if um, I, I cannot give enough to actually earn the money that's why I'm talking about how much I can do and how much I can give and I'm happy as um as a volunteer and then I'm also very happy with Nancy as well coming forward and stating uh, what her requirements are because it is what she's doing and it it really corresponds with um, her line of work, her circumstances. I mean, one example is 
even da even data, you know, the cost of attending a meeting and all those things. And I think for I've met um Carolina, I've met Kyungin, and I'm pretty I, I think that if they needed payment, um they would have said it. And I think because they too have limited time, they are prepared to work on a voluntary basis. But when it comes to that, um do you remember when we were at the Christmas party, the international event? There was a lady from um, one of the Scandinavian countries. I forgot, I forgot which country it is. Um, and you mentioned something about the website when you saw her. Vigdis, Vigdis Parkins. Yes, she's from Norway. Okay, yes. So... I was, she said something very important. She said that, yes, she's all for Women Federation, but then she wants Women Federation to be in a way that people can get paid for the work. Was, was that in a breakout room? Yes. Okay, good. I mean, good. We, were, we, were, we were going in and out. We were yep. being yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. So because she's more. coming back. She's joining the executive now. She had a break. Yeah. Oh. She was she was um very, very active for a long time at the beginning mm. and basically just dumped it mm. and left. And what? Johanna, a younger, a second gen in mm. Norway, took mm. over the website yes. and was overwhelmed when she had her babies. And oh. she's also come back and she's now the president in Norway. Yes. Um the one that was in the meeting, what did you say? Oh, you, it, it was Johanna in the meeting, right? Yeah, they were both there. That was the, the thing. Okay. I'm actually looking at this because I have, I keep like notes of all my women federation meetings and I can see that, uh, I can see, I have her name, Johanna Torres. And yep. it was um, Johanna who mentioned that. So she would be prepared to do the website for payment? Was that what came out or just she? Um, she didn't say specifically about the website, but then she did say that she wants she wants to invite more women, into, young women into Women Federation, but she wants um, people to be paid for their work. So I get the sense that someone like Johanna, she could be approached for the website and you said that she's been doing that right she did it before yeah i took it over from she basically gave me all the access codes to to get into it and then i couldn't quite figure out i mean i wasn't i didn't have much time and then when i got into it a few things had changed and nobody had been keeping anything else up and so i added the blog function and started adding the articles via blog mm. and the homepage function was sort of in the background and now apparently Vigdis and Johanna together have come up with a new design and then Mitty said oh Mike Balcom is prepared to to help fund the web page mm. so then I thought okay well if they're prepared to do that and Mitty wants and Mitty expressed something you know the web page is dead we may as well scrap it I mm. thought, okay, that means even all the blog articles that I've put on there and the work that I already invested and the newsletters I sent from the web page were not even seen. I thought, okay, okay, then um, good, okay. Uh, somehow we we really have a communication issue. <laughs> yes, you see, that's that. It's so important that number one. We just we don't have one person doing an entire or running an entire de department, one man. And then it's also important to mentor somebody else or to have like a number two or three or however many people to have continuity. Because the moment like with this email address of the lady and um, the sister who passed on, it's very sad because she probably put a lot of work to make sure we have something and then because there was no other person or whatever it is, it's lost. And even imagine all the hard work you put in and it's like, okay, we're just going to bury it. Well, she, we also had a Google calendar, you know, based on that. Mm. And Elizabeth and I were the only ones that were going into it. The others didn't know how to what to do with it. And now mm. times have changed and it would be, yeah, 
exactly as you say it's the, the time is ripe and we can use it and we can start from scratch again yeah <laughs> I wonder if tomorrow we can it's something to ponder for the meeting in Austria where oh in in this in in yeah okay in Zebenstein yeah okay we can um mm -hmm. think about that I mean I don't know what the function of a meeting is but even if we can have somebody come in and show us these type of things, like with a Google calendar and all of that, you know, people will be there on their phones and, you know, I don't know how possible that will be. The, yeah, I, I see that could be an option. Um, yeah. I'm definitely not that person, but um, that could be a possibility. And it could be there perhaps where maybe... Um, even uh, Anne would be able to decide if she can cope using the other email address, that type of thing. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, we've touched on a couple of things where my mind went um, uh, quite a few steps mm -hmm. ahead. Um, the web, yeah, so... Firstly, thank you so much. I think you addressed an important issue in terms of volunteerism. We need to promote the concept of tithing time. Yes. Of tithing time and giving everybody the opportunity of making a contribution and being appreciated for the contribution that they make. Yes. And everybody has a different way of contributing and we need to find the ways to weave that into the beautiful tapestry that we are. And that works best, as I stated in my proposal, when we have somebody who's tying all the bits together and that person should be a professional admin who's really being uh, taken care of the historicity and the, the whole broad picture and can really put everything together and has the continuity in hand as well. And that I, I personally only see that working for myself in a paid capacity or somebody who's um, retired and independent or well off and want, and then uh, what do you call it? Um, a philanthropist who really wants to contribute to that extent. However, many of our members are, are not that fluid and are very happy to volunteer their time. And I think we need to create that concept where each one can contribute according to their according to their means. Yes, I agree. And I think looking at everything, we probably need somebody um, who can dedicate a certain amount of time to the admin alone. And the, my, my, is, my problem, my issue is I just see the, the volume of it all. And I can't imagine doing it for anything less than what I have in my proposal. And that doesn't cover everything like the web. What my proposal, I have a mastermind group and I meet once a month with them. And I was telling them, you know, I haven't, I haven't presented my proposal because I don't believe women's federation can, can offer that, um, that amount. And they said, that's none of your business. You've got to, you've got to make your, and actually they should be glad if you're asking for 5,000 that you're not asking for 10. And actually when I, when I considered what all that needs to be, what the way I see what needs to be done, I would prefer to have 10 and then know that I can also rededicate, that I've got the funding to get the other support that I need, somebody for the webpage and for the other things that need to be done. And that's long-term. And I, and I really see, I mean, 15 years ago when I wanted to work for the WFWP here in Austria, I saw a part of that whole mission was the fundraising and membership. You recruit people and they pay and yeah. it grows and it's an it's a natural organic growth that just happens. We don't have to think in terms of I need 5,000 yeah. today and 10,000 tomorrow. It's a matter of of organic growth. And that's why I my second proposal was basically I see it as a handover. I'm offering my resources, the YouTube channel, the the Facebook page, the stuff that I've already done and when there are volunteers or paid people or part-timers who are prepared to do something with it I'm very very happy to provide the resources to train them and I'm, I've already put all of that online and I'm still organizing 
However, I, I don't get that much feedback. And that's another, it's again, the communication. We need to find the ways to, to liven up the, um, the give and take that it can be effective, that we are touching the, the hearts of the members in a place and in a way that they want to be met and not burdening them with more work and more activities. We need to find a way to really serve yes. that they know that it is added value and really worthwhile to contribute in, in this area, that it really helps them in their witnessing to, to other people. Yes, I agree because once somebody burns out, then we lose a very valuable member. And I mean, I think when you look at other countries uh, or regions, the one thing that we don't really have, I think, is that dedicated budget because with USA, you have full-time members, not full-time members, full-time employees. Yep for women federation it's the same in in japan korea and in korea yep and i mean it, it was it was very nice at the um, at the conference you know they they had it was like oh no 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 um i was uh i took a ride of course germany paid for for my trip and then but everything else i was just um taking out of my own pocket. So when I was going back to the airport, I went back with a Korean sister and I wanted to sp uh, split the bill. And she's like, no, no, don't worry. It's it's company. <laughs> it's company funded. Don't yeah, worry. Exactly. And, 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 and she was doing things in such a way that one would when they are on a business trip. Yeah, exactly. Needs food, this, this and that. And I realized, okay, it's, they are recruiting qualified uh, people and mentoring them so that Women Federation can be their job and their primary focus. And I find it incredible that Europe and Middle East, 72 countries, yeah. and we're not there yet. I'm, it's, it's unfathomable, unfathomable, yeah. We need to get there I, because it, it really, really shows if even if we cannot have uh, full-time employees but you know we can have um someone maybe we start with someone who i mean how many hours is are there in a normal week 40 hours is a regular week depends which country 40 hours is a regular job in some countries it's 37 and a half or public service is 38 or 30, up down to 35 but 40 hours is a typical uh some countries have 45 or 48 but 40 hours would be the average yeah, regular yeah. So even if we have somebody who works a, a fraction of that amount to start off with, I think we'll see a big difference. I'm sure we would. I'm sure we would. There has just been that, that much resistance within the, the executive is a bunch of old women. We did all this when, when our kids were babies, you know, that we, we hear the young people saying, oh, I can't do that. I've got family. I had five little kids and I was doing it, you know. <laughs> We did it, and and so we expect the same from everybody else. But times have changed. Exactly. Times have changed. Yeah, that's something. I, I hope they can consider that. I mean, I'm. I really want to get as much young people as possible coming to Women Federation. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And yeah, there's a lot in the in the sales pitch. We need to really sell it as that opportunity of of um the volunteerism, the value of NGO activity. But I definitely believe we need to have, um, but I mean, even Carolyn was, and Zoe, yeah. The Mitty, I think is, is. Um, I mean, this video, I'm recording it and I'm putting it on, on our webpage, which um, I might make then available to some of the executives. They won't find it by searching unless I actually share the link with them. But Mitty has already expressed the desire to become more professional and to to seek that type of um, support. So I think I, I believe we are, we have catapulted into this new age. We are in that era, and the fact that they're even put the proposal on the agenda for the executive committee is is an amazing step. And Merley's presentation last week was really a really excellent. But, preparation for that she talked about the New York office and how she was how she had done uh she didn't mention all of her fundraising activities in, in that but in another presentation I heard how she 
how she found sponsors for her project in the Philippines and how she got the sponsors for New York. And mm. she is the perfect example of a fundraiser who knows how to how to get the funding for the projects. And when you find that capable person, you have to grab them and give them what they're worth so that they can do their job. Exactly, exactly. And one thing, I don't know um, if there's young people in the Family Federation that are doing full time or something. Um, and if and the fact that Dr. Balcom does want to help, they could just say one young lady to come and be with Women Federation um, for the year. But on on the account of Family Federation, for example, you know, that will go a long way. Yep, definitely, definitely. And, and um, that's something to consider, not just uh, on Dr. Balcom's level, but maybe even on the other countries' level. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so um, I shared, I'll, I'll just go back to share the screen. What? Oh. Okay, yeah, I thought you'd see my face there because I saw my face on my screen. So the um, the web pages I had, I put, I think, also already in the chat in the WhatsApp where I have recorded the meetings that we've had already. Okay. And I think some sort of a, a written report or um, minutes or somehow a little bit of a, a commentary or a story or... Um, documentation about the development of our social media team I have done a little bit in in text and I'm thinking um, that could be a little helpful for anybody else who might be able to join us okay you know whenever I see the reports that come in and things from other places I'm always thinking oh we should be annual report you know shouldn't it be the social media team doing the annual report and I think yeah I should be doing that and I find myself being so resistant and and that's what I find it, it, it's such a I feel I don't know embarrassed ashamed uh, it's a pity I don't I don't even know I don't think they're the right words either it's just um I I'm feel like I'm observing and I'm watching oh and I'm thinking social media teams should be making a, an annual report and a Christmas fundraiser when I see what the new, the Americans do and I just wonder how can we, I mean, our challenge is we are 72 nations. How can we, the European Middle East Women's Federation and social media team, how can we really, uh, what, we, what we need to do is to clarify our, our mandate, our vision statement and uh, who we really are and what we're here to do. And when we have a clear purpose, then I think from there we can we can state our objectives and how we're going to fulfill it because until that's very clear, it's um it's very wishy washy. You know, I see things and I have expectations, and um, others maybe don't even recognize it, but you can't refer to anything. And I think we a lot will be determined tomorrow. I think I think yeah that will really help. For example, making a report, doing fundraisers. That goes beyond you know the scope of social media team and um i think maybe every department would need a team absolutely absolutely a material team a fundraising team i mean i had a discussion with renata or ilmgard when the account went <clears throat> to switzerland yeah. the fact that we pay exchange fees mm. for every donation that goes to Switzerland and then goes to the Ukraine. We exchanged the money from from euros to Swiss francs back to euros. And we, we're losing the money which was actually donated for a good cause mm. in, to the banks. Mm. And apparently there was no alternative at that time because Women's Federation Europe was registered in Switzerland and the executive was in Switzerland. So the, in that discussion I had, I said then, oh, well, okay, now is it all going to be in pounds? Is it all going to England? We, we can't. <laughs> you know, is that how we're going to run our show? 
And I had the same issue at the UN with the Toastmasters account where the banks changed the rules and regulations and we were no longer allowed to keep the, the account that we had without regist. We were registered in inter international territorial United Nations uh, territory. And I, and we had to, in Toastmasters, we had to change leadership every year. The president was changed every year. But once I became the signatory on the account when I was president in 2012, nobody else wanted to take over. Nobody wanted to put their name on it because you had to actually put the bank account in your own name. And now when you have the, um, you have to be registered as an association in Austria to have this bank account, it means that the finance, the taxation department will look at that account as if it was, that's why Irmgard was not prepared to take over anymore because the bank account was in her personal name. Yeah. You know, it's the, the same as the tax issue that father had in America. Yeah. The, the church oh, accounts yeah. were in his name. And I, I know, I, I worked in banking and particularly international banking and you need to be so careful. I don't know about the European laws, but in South Africa, the government tracks every single international payment. Uh, but I'm I'm wondering if there's no solution for it. So if Women Federation is registered in Switzerland, is it not possible for um, uh, Switzerland uh, Women Federation to open a euro account, a foreign currency account? even if it is in Switzerland, or even if, for example, we know that when it comes to the bank account, the signatories are gonna be in Switzerland. And then another thing that could be a possible, so that's number one, they go to the, the bank to open a Euro account. And then number two, they add on signatories. So when leadership changes, they do not necessarily um, have to close and start again but they just rather add a signatory. Yeah, well, that's that's how it worked with the Toastmasters account, that it was, um, but they actually, um, yeah, we added the signatories, but I managed, just before they changed a, a rule in Austria, mm -hmm. to have the account name changed to Toastmasters International, the VIC Toastmasters Club, without the name of any individual person. We yes. were still um, the signatories on the account, Yes. But the account was in the name of the VIC Toastmasters Club. And then it was a few years later that yes. they said, no, the Austrian regulations are you have to have a registered uh, NGO association in Austria. And they wanted to go back to the, to the other way that they had it. And mm -hmm. I don't know. So in the meantime, they haven't even changed the account again. You know, it's um, I don't know if I'm still on the signatory again from the last time when I was president again or how they dealt with it. But it's um, our, we've had the one accountant over 10 years. So she does all of the bookkeeping and she's going to retire soon. So we don't have to deal with it. And this is something that that concerns me as well. I think as an NGO, that's why when Google and Zoom are offering situations for nonprofits, I think, well, yes, we have to take yeah, advantage of that. Do. But to even do that, you have to have your bookkeeping in order. order and that's, that's where Women's Federation has to really get on the ball and find out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it could be done. I, as I said, I don't know the rules, the banking rules. But if it's possible for us not to change countries, but just to rather keep um, the same registration, the same country, but for them to open a foreign currency account, like in South Africa, if you're a nonprofit, you could go to the bank and say, here I am as a nonprofit, my donors are coming from overseas. So I need to open a dollar account to receive the dollars. So the issue is that Switzerland is not in the... Um, in the EU. I mean, not the EU. In the, the currency, yes. Exactly. In the currency exchange agreement, in the, what's it called? The um, SEPA, S-E-P-A. Yes. So, so is it not possible? So for example, if I'm here, like businesses in Germany, I think even, I'm not sure about individuals, they're allowed to have euro and um, dollar accounts here in Germany. Okay. Okay, yeah. that would be, that's something, perhaps it's, um, it might be beyond the current members, but perhaps it's something that we can bring up and get on the agenda for the 
for the second for the next generation you know these old pensioners <laughs> often haven't got a clue and don't really know what to do with it and are tired of working with it it's and not I, a, this, yeah it's not even a social media team yeah, issue true. but if That's if true. it if it does come up i have a, a little bit of knowledge with international banking you and are a very valuable resource for women's federation <laughs> So I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it, yeah, I'll just keep it in mind because it's so important to have um, continuity. And um, I don't even know how the regulation works in um, in Europe, but I know, like I said, in South Africa, it's, it's heavy regulation. And if you say we've been around for 50 years, uh, but at the same time, your your bank account is uh, two years old. You know, it, there's no correspondence. Yeah, 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 yeah. All oh, right, yeah. So the Swiss account was only true. That's interesting. Yeah, that wow. Well, very good point. Very good point. Wow, wow, wow. This was part of my job, by the way. <laughs> so, right, right. So uh, I'm aware of these small things that we would have to pick up on the job so yeah and at the un we were always concerned about money laundering it, it these issues are very clear and very important and we need to be aware how we can build god's kingdom and respect caesar's laws <laughs> exactly but yeah i think it i think it will work out um yeah interesting so we're meeting 8.30 tomorrow and Zoe asked me to record the meeting. I've got a, oh, I should be finished by then anyhow. That shouldn't be a problem. So we'll see. Oh, okay. So basically our schedule now is that we'll meet every two weeks at this time. And for the others, um, for Nancy and Kyungin and um, Caroline, we'll need to, touch base with them and see if this is a time that works for them or not and otherwise I think I think it is important that we try and meet together or that I get feedback that somebody's looked at the at the video or read the minutes if we provide them because we need to have a little bit more active give and take or otherwise I don't even see any justification for calling us a media team but I, I take full responsibility for that I feel like I haven't done enough I feel there's too much to do and I recognize I'm holding back I am really holding back because I'm not prepared to just jump into the abyss and yes. to just drown with all the stuff that needs to be done that's very important Lily it's so important because that's yeah it's important that you don't overwhelm yourself or any human being. I'm also very cautious with what I agree to take on, like taking minutes, for example, that's quite easy because I'm there. It's It will not, it, and maybe after the meeting, I need about 15 minutes just to go through the notes and send them through. And even with the my dedication to the social media thing, I'm dedicating time that I know I will be able to to cope with. How was that with Zoe then asking you to check the recording of the extended meeting to continue the minutes? Are you good with that? Did you see that? that she... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I because did... there I would say I would make it clear. I will make the minutes for the hour that I am there and you guys are going to take care of oh, the Oh, I no. actually... I I'm going now and I actually see that I cannot um yeah I'm not I'm not going to be able to do that otherwise if um if that's what they need me to do I can definitely do it but that will mean maybe waiting a month for the the thing could you please put that in in the group that if they can see that because the expectations just explode, you know. You you give you give them a finger <laughs> and they take it. And it's it's good that I mentioned to you that the only reason I can actually do the minutes, it's because I'm already there and that's what I can do. And beyond that one hour, I cannot do any more. I think I'll just go back to to say maybe what we can do is start with an actual meeting. And then people do their reports at the end, because if someone puts together a written report, 
um i don't even take minutes for that if someone is doing mm -hmm, a presentation because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they can just go and upload their report afterwards mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, make that clear because sometimes, like, yeah, people don't think. Mm. Oh, so um, Kafuv is doing the minutes and she can do it and ha ha, <laughs> job done. Yeah. <Nice. laughs> and I've I've tried this. It's it's always a bad idea if I record and listen later. It's so difficult. And it's more than double the time. More than double. It's so difficult. I have to yeah. pause. Yeah, time. yeah. The ones that are at the meeting should then check the minutes and then can extend them and, and make the final report with the minutes that you've prepared. Yeah. yeah I missed Zoe's message. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Well, I'm really happy, even when it's just the two of us. I I sense the... Um, hey, we've never met in person, I think. No. No. But we'll probably <laughs> meet next month. <laughs> great great and um yeah let's let's get this um this movement on fire because there's it's an incredible potential so much that can work but it needs a few prods yes from different directions definitely yes. yeah 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 i'm glad you're here thank you Kifu. Uh, i'm i'm glad to be here and to also meet you to have met you so let's uh, make the most of it. So we'll schedule the next meeting two weeks' time. So that's on the 16th. Okay. And okay. so we say 16th at yeah. uh, 7 o'clock. And um, I'll post the recording to that same website and share it. Yeah. And then after tomorrow's meeting, we'll have a little bit more to report and to discuss. I think so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then... We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Kafuve. Have a lovely evening. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.